The lunch was good, by the way. Great. Awesome. Thank you. You can't do better than that. Donald Trump, a serial cheater, a supporter of white supremacy, a guy who calls Nazis very fine people, and a person who has been accused by 23 women of sexual misconduct. Welcome the Baylor Bears women's basketball team to the White House. Here's the weirdest moment. We would like to present you with one of our uh, jerseys. Well, I'll give it to Melania. You know, I love those short sleeves. Such beautiful arms. Here was my favorite moment. Would you like to work at the White House by any chance? No. <laughs> and here's what Donald Trump said about his own hair. Chloe, please. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> it's beautiful. Am I allowed to wear it? Huh? Sure. Is. I'll, put it, I'll mess up my hair, but that's it. <laughs> that's it. It is mine. And by the way, why are you saying it's okay that your hair is yours? It should be okay that it's yours. Usually when you say, oh, by the way, it's okay, it, it's mine, and you're talking about something that is artificially placed on your head, it's usually not. One of the better moments was from Kalani Brown, who is a WNBA draftee, putting this out on her Instagram story. <laughs> Wow, like wow. <laughs> like they was not lying. We ate like, all the barbecue sauce, <laughs> pizza, fries. Okay, Donnie, cool. <laughs> per the usual, Donald Trump did not do his homework on or support in viewing the women's basketball tournament, which totally falls in line with his misogynistic ways. As he asked about details over the finish, even, af even after reading prepared remarks at the Resolute desk. Come on, man. Champions in sports. And you can't know what happened in the final two minutes of a game? The final 30 seconds of a game? Furthermore, after noting the fighting Irish who Baylor played had a chance to tie with two free throws, Trump asked Kim Mulkey, Baylor's head coach, what happened. Tell me, he said before being told that uh, the Notre Dame player missed the first of two free throws. How presidential. Going in because he's just so, so authentic. Authentic in stupidity. They accomplished a feat only one team does every year, and he can't read up on what happened in the final 10 seconds of a championship game. He continued his go F yourself with high blood sugar diet, serving the team Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, and Wendy's. The Baylor Bears' willingness to accept an invitation does not fall in line with previous teams. In 2017, the White House did not extend an invitation to the South Carolina Gamecocks until September, five months after their victory. Even then, they were only invited as part of an event honoring multiple championship teams. Head coach Dawn Staley declined the invite, in part, she implied, because she felt disrespected by the delay, rightfully so. The most recent WNBA champs, the Minnesota Lynx in 2017 and the Seattle Storm in 2018, were not invited to the White House. The disrespect that Donald Trump has displayed towards women and the LGBTQ community are prevalent. He has drawn great disdain from many, but not Kim Mulkey, the head coach of the Baylor Bears in a red state. What would have been a more crowning moment is not visiting a misogynistic man in the White House who promotes the complete opposite of what basketball promotes, inclusivity, bringing different races, different, different races, different backgrounds, different upbringings, all together for one goal of winning when he wants to divide those kinds of stories as much as possible. But I think what would have been a finer moment is if Kim Mulkey declined this invitation because Donald Trump does not support women. He does not support the LGBTQ community. Look at even Neil Gorsuch's record and what he has retracted from the Obama era. And those two things, critical in women's sports because they fit both sides of the Venn diagram. It would have been a more crowning and proud moment. And Kim Mulkey, unfortunately, dropped the ball.